Hello and welcome to the first of three battles on Total War Pharaoh that we are allowed to show you from this battle build that we have access to for one week. It's actually the third one going up on my channel, but it's the first of the three battles. Uh, it's the easiest one technically, and it's the earliest game one as well. You can see we have a very small army up against a, another very small army led by Seti. We are, of course, still playing as Ramses because it's the only choice. In fact, it's not a choice because there are no choices. Um... But if you haven't seen my other battles yet, I'm going to treat this one as if it is the first one you watch anyway. I want to show you guys the new mechanics in the game uh, and yeah, essentially pretend that I haven't uploaded the other two battles yet. If you want to see them, haven't seen them yet, I'll try and put links in the description. Otherwise, you can find them on my channel. If you have already seen them, then I hope you enjoy this one as well. A line in the sand. Let's get started and I'll talk about the rest of the stuff then. Finally. Ramesses III has cornered another pretender to the crown. You've spent many turns demolishing Seti's cities and pushing him out of your lands, but this will be the final blow to his false claim. Your armies have cut most of his forces down, hunting them across the vast sands of Egypt, and now all that remains are his most devoted followers. You do not have command of the full forces of a pharaoh yet, but your troops are still loyal and determined to fight for your cause. Some have been with you from the start of your journey. These faithful Medjai swordsmen have joined you from your bastion at Nebges. Others have been persuaded of your divinity. These lower Egyptian spear militia were conscripted from freshly conquered Kes, taking up arms in your name and illustrating the region's devotion to you. Regardless, all have been trained in your manner of combat and will follow your orders. Be sure to utilize their stances for maximum effect, giving ground to lure the foe deeper into your forces, holding your position or pushing the enemy back and pressing your advantage. The sand lies calm for now, but you know this land. Your gut tells you that it is unlikely to stay this way as grainy wind whistles in your ears, an early warning of an incoming sandstorm. Expect lowered visibility, speed and missile effectiveness, alongside small wounds as the biting sands whips at your troops. Think carefully about if you want to surge forwards and press the attack before the chaos, or use the incoming sands to your advantage. Command your forces, destroy the pretender, and claim the title of Pharaoh once and for all. Will do, Mr. Narrator Man. Alright, so, as I said, I'm going to treat this as if it's the first video on this game that you've watched. So I'm going to talk about some of the new features. One uh, being mentioned already by the narrator a little bit, which is the weather system. So there is now dynamic weather in the game. This means that weather can change throughout the battle. Currently it's dry, and later on predicted weather is a sandstorm. Now, because this is a scripted battle, the sandstorm will happen. But when in the actual uh, battle, if you fight fast enough, or if you win the battle fast enough, or lose it fast enough, I suppose, then uh, whatever weather is predicted might never even happen. Uh, but of course this is scripted, so it is going to happen. The sandstorm is going to happen at some point. It's also going to lag my PC for a second, just, just so you know, because that's a thing. But again, I should mention this is very, very early early alpha things will change now uh another feature uh the weather feature is actually my favorite of the the major new overhaul things but uh, another feature is the stances that your units can take so just grabbing this random upper egyptian conscripted axeman i love the unit naming in this this unit has the ability to hold uh, um which or hold stance which means that it will take a brace formation holding uh, the ground as much as they can now this is uh, interesting because, for example, you have certain units which have the uh, advanced stance. So, let's say we have this here Upper Egyptian Conscripted Axeman, which is my unit. We put them in hold stance, and we have an enemy Magi Swordsman attacking us from the front, and they are in advanced stance. Now, what they're going to try and do is actually push through my men. So their unit will, or our, yeah, it's the enemy unit for this example, will start advancing forward, pushing back enemies on its way. So they're going to try and push my unit back, but my unit is in the hold stance. So it's actually trying to hold on to the ground as much as they can. So it's going to diminish some of the pushing that this unit will do. 
But you also have units, I think this archer has it, that can go into give ground stance. So put them somewhere. If they get attacked, they can actually try and slowly back away from the enemy without just turning around and running uh, in order to try and minimize the losses that they take. They're still fighting a unit, but they're slowly retreating back and back. So maybe they'll get closer to my reinforcement units, which are back here, for example. Um, whilst not losing that much men from just running away from an enemy. So stances are another interesting new feature in the game. Uh, I've already mentioned in some of the videos, I don't think I'm going to use much of them because I feel like it's one of those things that sounds cool on paper, but it's probably not all that useful to, to try and even invest time and effort into using effectively because it's probably just not really worth it. Like, you'll probably do just as fine if you don't do it, but... Yeah, maybe I'll be proven wrong. Maybe it is very useful. So, what do we have in this army here? Um, already had a look at some of the units, but we have Ramses himself. This time he is a Kopesh and Shield bodyguard. Again, this can change depending on the gear you give him on the campaign map, I believe. Um, in the first battle that I showed, but the second battle that we are, uh, like the middle tier battle, he's a chariot unit. In the last battle in the siege one, he's an archer unit. So yeah, he can be all kinds of stuff. And of course, all your generals in that case can be. Uh, we have some Magi Swordsmen, a uh, tier 3 but light uh, infantry unit. They have uh, sweet ash swords with little shields. Shields can be different, of course, as well. They have 25% uh, shield block, whereas Ramses has 45% missile fire hitting from the front, or missile block chance, I suppose. Um, of course, all kinds of stats, different abilities as well. Certain units will have a improved flanking attack, others will be good in defense. Um, of course, spears have a bonus versus large. Uh, other units, such as uh, the Kopesh, has a bonus versus shields. There's all kinds of different uh, statistics that I'm sure you're uh, aware of from other Total War games. Those aren't really all that new. There's also a new armor system in the game. So you can see on the stats here, next to fresh, you have the uh, ammunition that this unit has. And then there's a little armor stat, so it's currently at 100%. Oh, of course, your armor starts at 100% at the beginning of a battle. But as the battle goes on, as they get attacked, the armor will actually reduce, uh, which will then decrease the effectiveness of their armor, and they will die more easily uh, because of their essentially destroyed or at least weakened armor, which is interesting. So yeah, Magi Swordsmen, we have some Magi Archers. We have the Lower Egyptian Spear Militia. I'll zoom in for you so you can have a little look on, at them as well. Most of these early game units are basically just naked men. Well, mostly so. Uh, these guys are naked as well, but they have a bow instead of a spear and a shield. These are the Upper Egyptian Conscripted Axemen. Greatest name so far, I think. <laughs> it's just... It's going to be an absolute nightmare trying to remember. And then our Magi Swordsman. I think literally everyone except for these guys is uh, shirtless. That's lovely. If you're into that kind of thing. <laughs> uh, anyway. Um, so with a Sandstorm on the way, I should have a look at what that does. It's going to give us uh, decreased range speed, charge speed, and reload, increased reload time. Also lowered visibility. It deals a small but constant damage to all units and increased fatigue buildup from action. So units get more tired more quickly from doing things while the sandstorm is uh, is happening. Uh, I'm actually going to send a couple of units, these two right here, around. We're going to put them in the forest over there. I'm going to have these two on the flank around here. Ramses can just hold the, the rear and then yeah, the rest is all fine. There'll be spears here in the center. Um, one thing that I find annoying which i am not sure if these guys have that too let's find out if you put them in hold no that's not the case with these ones you have other units which uh, that's one of the things i find annoying that if you put them in um a shield wall formation of some sort they will uh, become much smaller it's one of those things that's been happening a lot in total war games recently um so you have, like, for example, a spear... Let's just take uh, this unit. It goes this wide, but then you put it in spear wall formation, and then all of a sudden it's only like this. And then it's like, well, but it's not really defending much land anymore now, so I prefer just keeping it in no formation. But it is what it is. We don't have any of those units on the battlefield right now, though. I'm going to send this guy over towards the forest as well. I'm actually going to run you. Uh, no, not cautiously. You can run. Run. F fly, you fools. Um... We're going to try and uh, harass some units from the sides and also lure them towards the forest. And we have these two guys waiting for them in ambush. A lovely little tactic, I say. 
In fact, I might want you over there as well. Just have a look. Just have the general on the flank. Fuck it. Let's go crazy. Let's do it. Absolutely wild. <laughs> the dead archers get lost. Great. Um... We have uh, archer units, I should mention, 160 range. We have enemy slingers, though, with 210 range. So we are massively outranged here. We do have more range units than they do. Um, but I'm still going to try and take this cautiously. If I can just get this unit into range, and maybe lure forward some units. I need to make sure I stay away from the lower Egyptian militia slingers. I like how you've got some units, which is levy clubmen, levy fighters, or whatever, and then these guys are lower Egyptian militia slingers, upper Egyptian conscripted axemen, levy fighters. They got a lot of levy fighters, by the way. Interestingly, these guys have a different icon. They're both levy fighters, different stats as well. Oh, sorry, these are levy club. Huh? Oh, they are. Why was it? Wait, that's weird. That might be a bug. Okay, so it's Levy Fighters, and I hover over any other unit that says Levy Fighters, but then you stop hovering over it, and it says different. Okay. Another... It's just... It's Alpha. Okay, we got our first volley going off. These guys don't have the uh, firewall moving thing, by the way, but they can, because they feel like it. I think it's the, uh, the only legitimate answer there. We are going to get shot by their slingers now, but I think I'm willing to take this, uh, this exchange here. Because I get a chance to murder their levy fighters quite efficiently. Let's run my general over there as well. Okay. The battle is off. Let's uh, start firing at some other units. The general's under attack. Do you mind? Okay. One or two more volleys and we'll run these guys into the forest. Have a little ambush waiting for them. Ha 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 ha. You fool. Get you should have known. Right, uh, let's run them over here and then run these guys forward a little bit. Charge them forward. No sandstorm yet. We got the enemy general there as well. The uh, Kopesh and Shield bodyguard. He's actually quite good against both of my units, so... Maybe try and get some volleys off before we engage him. Oh god, the shield... Right, I don't know if I talked about that in this video. Yep, yeah, the sh shift button's busted and it zooms very very fast across the map i'm gonna have you flank around and just start firing in the back of these units okay let's have you guys charge in there i kind of want to have these guys go around and fire at the uh, the enemies from behind but maybe you're gonna just charge them you're gonna go through here and then just kind of start firing in the side of all that just ignore it. Let's, let's just both... Let's have a truce between these units. Let's just ignore each other. There's a sandstorm coming in. You can see the lag instantly happening on my my computer. I'm running this completely maxed out, by the way. Everything is maxed out to the max. That is what maxed out means, generally. Uh, but yeah, maxing maxing everything out. They're actually just going after my archers. You're not allowed to do that. Okay, let's have you guys distract them then. So you can go over here. You can go over here. The, the, the frames will get better again in a minute. Just uh, for, se for some reason, it's while the sandstorm starts up. My computer's like, I'm not having that. No sandstorm for you. Okay, let's get into those guys now. Yeah, they just... Oh, never mind. You have to hold them back. I was hoping this uh, little flanking maneuver was going to be quite successful. But the enemy is just like, not having it. Get you guys in there. They're just running. They're just running away from me. Okay, you fire straight into the general. Actually, you as well. Just actually, no, 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 fire in there. That's that's an easier target for you. Okay, you went for the flank. You done well. In fact, we are doing really well here. The sandstorm is now also hurting every single unit on the map slowly, bit by bit, essentially. I think this might be the uh, yeah the best I've done in this battle. The enemy general, will he die or will he flee? This is him probably right here. He looks the most fancy of all. Look at this man. That is quite the fancy outfit. Holy shit. You can't play as him, Seti. He's one of the playable characters. I think I'm allowed to mention. Okay, he's routed. I think that's probably it then, isn't it? It's not, somehow. That unit's just like, nah, we're good. Okay, never mind. 
Cool. That's it. Victory. I think that's the cleanest I've done that battle, to be honest. That was pretty good. A decisive victory. I'll take it. Good stuff. All right, we lost 167 men against Seti 624. He'll never recover from this, even though there's more than half his army remaining. Do we have anyone who did particularly well in this battle? Not really. General 81. I mean, honestly, everyone's in decent double digits. The lowest, I think, 38 and the highest, 87. That's actually... Everyone just pulled their weight. That was good stuff. Good job all around. Give yourself some high fives. That was good stuff. Uh, but yeah, that was uh, the first of the three battles, but again, the third one I have shown you. Uh, possibly the last video on this battle build that I will show you. I th Again, I think my thoughts video is the thing that's going to go out first, but I'm not entirely sure yet. I still have a, a week or two before I get to, or I have to decide on these things. But I have to record all of it now because we lose access in a couple of days to this build. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed the three battles at the very least. Um, again, my thoughts that will go out, not entirely positive. There are some worries for me, absolutely. I try to generally be positive about every Total War game that comes out, but I'm also just a little bit exhausted, I suppose. I'm looking, I just want something amazing, and it's not really happening. But we'll see. For now, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm looking forward to the campaign for sure. Hopefully we'll see some new cool stuff in there. Uh, until then, have a good day, and goodbye.